We edited Wikipedia articles on the subject of open source software at my university. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm Wikimedian at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia, Blue Raspberry on Wikipedia. I'm going to tell you what we did and what kind of results we got. We paid student editors and we paid expert Wikipedia editors to help develop this content. Paid editing is a taboo on Wikipedia and you should not do it. I'm telling you, do not do it. However, we did it. I'm going to tell you how we mitigated risk, coordinated this with the wiki community. It's not an easy process. And if you'd like to try to replicate it, I'm going to say what worked for us and what to avoid. First, the results about this. Why would anyone do this? Why, why did we jump into this? We, we wanted to develop Wikipedia articles. There's expertise in the university, expertise in the world. We care about this particular topic and we wanted to achieve communication impact. Wikipedia is a highly consulted source of information. If you put content into Wikipedia, it reaches people who are looking for it. It circulates around the media ecosystem. In the course of doing this, we had to respect Wikipedia editors and review. This is different from volunteers coming to Wikipedia because we're paying some people to do this. And we did documentation, followed a lot of rules, asked for a lot of permission. This happened continually throughout the, the project and the process. Some of the articles that we edited include open source software, uh, data breach, software maintenance, artificial intelligence in the United States. There's a list of them on the project page, but I wanted to give a mood for what kind of topics we're covering in this open source software project. It's not to promote any particular brand or any particular product. It's general information that people would use as reference if they're looking for information about what is the place of open source software in society. First, let's consider the Wikipedia article on open source software, how it was before we edited, what happened during our project. So I'm about to show some results from various tools. Everyone has access to these. These are not backend. You can click buttons on Wikipedia and, and see these kind of reports for yourself. The first report that I'm going to show you is something called page view statistics, uh, page view, page views analysis. So in this tool, you can see the traffic to any given Wikipedia article in any language on any day or over a point in time. And I'm showing this to uh, show the traffic to the wiki, wiki article open source software. It got 481,000 views over the year 2023. This is a lot of traffic. If somebody wants to share information, Wikipedia is an ideal place to put that information. There's high impact and this impact comes with a lot of trust. If anyone is to develop this article, they need to comply with Wikipedia's rules. This article exists in 61 different language versions. We only edited the English language version of this article. But again, when English gets developed, content circulates. The traffic that I just showed you was for English language only. Uh, over time, content tends to migrate from English into other languages. It migrates the other way as well, but English does, does have a special impact. There's statistics about who's editing the article and to what extent. The Wikipedia article on open source software has received 3,106 edits. It's had 1,600 editors. There's about a thousand people watching the progress on this article. And you can look at it in different ways to see how many people have edited the article the most. They might have made a lot of small edits doing copy editing. And you can also check who has added the most text. There's views for that. I'm not going to interpret this so much, but I will say that there's a lot of people watching this article. There's a lot of people who have edited it over time. It's an article that is, is the hub of a lot of activity and attention. I checked through the revision history of this article. This is a log of every edit that's ever made. There's not an automated way to interpret the revision history. It still takes human eyes to give an opinion about this. And my opinion about this article is that it's never had a complete review. No one's ever fact checked the entire thing. It's never had a comprehensive copy edit. So this is looking back over years of edits, all those thousands of edits that have come through. The way that I check this is to look to see, is has, has there been any big edits in the log? Has anyone made any notes that they're trying to check the whole thing? And it, it simply hasn't happened. So it doesn't take long to check this, but it's, it's something that I did. And it's the state of many of the articles that we addressed in this, this project. As a secondary check to see what people have thought about this project, each Wikipedia article has something called a talk page. It's an associated place for editors to talk about the development of the article. The talk page history addresses many uh, sub-issues 
the talk no one in the talk page has ever come and said we're going to try to improve the entire article we're going to tackle the whole thing so some of the small issues that i see here is uh, how to open source developers make a living so something just about that aspect of open source software a uh, list of prominent open source projects and foundations uh, what does open source software mean in a developing country like nepal so important issues, all of these, but it's not trying to tackle the entire article or give general reference to readers who are looking for an overview of the big topic. We edited Wikipedia. I'm not gonna explain the basics of Wikipedia editing. Uh, there's so many guides for this uh, inside Wikipedia and outside Wikipedia. They're easy to find with any kind of search. You can also ask Wikipedia editors, what is their favorite guide? There's so many videos you can look on YouTube or elsewhere find tutorials about these. Uh, I'm showing a tutorial here that you can find from uh, a colleague, Wikimedian in Residence at the University of Edinburgh. He, he made a great guide. There's academic papers, which describe in so many different ways how to edit Wikipedia, what it means to edit Wikipedia. Here I'm linking to a paper, uh, 10 Simple Rules for Editing Wikipedia, uh, published in PLUS, uh, Computational Science. So that's a great guide. What we did in particular, here's some of my favorite guides. Um, I, I directed new editors to do a particular tutorial, Wikipedia training modules. You can go through these. It takes about 30 minutes to get through them. Orients a new editor. We ask lots of questions in different places. We didn't really ask at this one place, T-House, but I am recommending it to, to newcomers. We ask mostly on the talk page for editorial comments from people who are reviewing the articles or in something called a wiki project where you gather lots of people together who are interested in subject matter content like software. Uh, we posted drafts before we did anything to talk pages to say, here's what we're thinking of doing. Would somebody review our proposed edits before we make them live in Wikipedia and reach all these, these different people? Uh, if you go through all these guides, they're going to tell you what, it, what does it mean to improve content? What does it mean to edit? There's hundreds of different aspects that you can check. It's like editing a magazine article. What is the one guide for being a newspaper editor? There is none. What is the one guide for writing academic papers? There is none. So this is a bit of an art, but I'm going to say some of the processes that we went through. We evaluated all the citations for this article. We put uh, all the citations into, into a graph. We considered um, were they press releases or promotional? Uh, is it a case study of particular things that happened or is it a big picture? How old is the article? Is it some kind of gray literature that doesn't list the author? Uh, doesn't mean it's lower quality in that case, but it is suspect and needs more checking. Uh, did it have any kind of peer review or any editorial control over who wrote, the, wrote, wrote it? Is it just about one particular country and not a global perspective? So checked all these articles in different ways, made evaluations. There were 93 citations in this article when we looked at it. And then we started proposing rewrites section by section. So broke, broke the article down, different paragraphs, different subheadings, and said, um, I propose to add this content to the article, doing this with a student editor. They wrote this, they re researched this, I oversaw what they were doing, we saw comments from other people, and talked with the wiki community, asking, uh, can, can we do this? What does anyone else think? Pinging people for comments, if, if nobody was commenting, trying to solicit comments about different things. So uh, some of the changes we proposed were accepted, the wiki community rejected other things, that's fine. Um, we, we, we took what we can and tried to make useful edits. If anyone wants to see what we did, there's a process for tracking changes in Wikipedia. You can see before and after. Uh, it's challenging for me to show you such large text and all the changes that went through them, but it's easy using the wiki interface to, to try to see this. And the result is we checked the citations for quality, removed a great many of them, replaced them with higher quality sources, perhaps textbooks that are a bit more comprehensive rather than short-term ephemera of publications by um, authors without a reputation for publishing in this particular field. We checked the existing text against citations. We copy edited the whole thing, made it flow. Uh, the way Wikipedia develops is often people add parts of it without looking at it comprehensively. We attempted to reduce bias. Uh, we came up on our own with um, ideas for what kind of content should be in this article. And then we sought that particular content. Sometimes we looked for nonprofit organizations giving statements, or we looked for global perspectives that maybe weren't in the textbooks targeting the United States. Whatever we could think to do, we, we, we talked about this a lot. It was over a period of months. And 
submitted this bit by bit, got Wikipedia editor review. I'm saying the article is improved. Uh, let's look at a, another article that we did in a different way, uh, data breach. Um, so in this article, same kind of same kind of analysis was done, not so comprehensively, not so documented. This was done through a Wikipedia editor who had a lot of experience with these things and not a student who is addressing these things as a, as a beginner. So uh, lots of things that we could say uh, before we edited this article or before we organized the, the editing of this article. Um, for example, it contained a list of breaches in the article, uh, all the, the security incidents that had come by when they happened. Someone edits Wikipedia to include the fact that this security incident had happened. And it was filling out the article and the article had more, it was more of a list of incidents rather than a general overview of what does a data breach means when it happens? How do people talk about the subject generally? So after editing, um, that was relegated to a list article, list of data breaches article, and the article is more, more comprehensive in general. The editor who, who took this on, they submitted their proposal to uh, proposed edits to Wikipedians. They reviewed them. They accepted them. After that, they escalated the review to seek something called a, a good article review process. This is a standard review process in Wikipedia. There's a rubric for it. It took about the equivalent of five pages of discussion to get through this, a lot of back and forth. And the result was it, it passed good article review. This is now designated as a good article. So it was in poor shape before. It's in great shape now after this process. Uh, something to note though, is that in researching data breach and looking for it, the project goal of advancing knowledge about open source software was not part of this article. The sources that were identified did not treat data breach as the topic in which open source software needs to be raised. So we wouldn't have known this had we not done the research and not progressed with the project. So even though the theme of the open, the project, the overall project is developing Wikipedia articles about open source software, I'm sharing the data breach article as an example of a success. We developed content. We didn't find so much representation of open source software discussion in in texts which talk about data breaches, this is still good for the wiki community. This is still a success because now there's there's a good article and we chose the article we wanted to develop and went forward with it and it didn't meet our original expectations and that's fine because still a great article there. Uh, now I'm going to give the strongest guidance I can about paid editing. Do not organize paid editing on Wikipedia. It's just not something welcome on Wikipedia. Uh, as of right now, there's no precedent of paid editors ever having a good time on Wikipedia, being welcomed by Wikipedians. There's just no success for paid editing projects. It's too problematic. If you do paid editing, uh, know the rules, be on your best behavior, expect confrontation from Wikipedia editors who have never seen this go well. If you are going to organize paid editing on Wikipedia, here's how it worked for us. You should know the Wikipedia rules. Editing is a privilege. You do, do not have the right to do, to do your editing. You do it with permission of Wikipedia editors. Document everything you're doing. Continuously ask for permission. Be flexible if plans change and Wikipedians ask you to do something. Have a good reason why you're doing the paid editing and you better get good results. There's documentation. You should read all the documentation, all the rules. So many rules, uh, equivalent of hundreds of pages. Go to the notice board where paid editing has gone wrong. You'll find many, many cases, many tens of thousands of cases where it's gone wrong. Be aware of those. Use documentation software. There's something called the Wikipedia Education Program, which organizes students to edit Wikipedia articles as a class. We set this up. Um, some of the edits were recorded from this, not all of the edits because some of our students never even edited Wikipedia. They did offline research and then it got submitted in, in other ways to the articles. But to the extent that we could track how many editors were, were doing things or what editors did things, uh, what they did directly, um, that's tracked within the dashboard. This does track the edits to, to all the articles. It does show, for example, um, can lead you to the, the revision history, the track changes of everything that was done. So project page talking about what's done. This lists what we edited, who edited, these kinds of things. And we had good reasons for doing this. The good reasons were the, the content wasn't good and we wanted to tap into university expertise to make this, this content better. Thanks for hearing me out. Credit to all the contributors is on that project page. 
Also, thanks to the sponsors of this project, William and Flora Hewlett Foundation and the Omid Yarn Network for supporting open source software in general and supporting Wikipedia in particular. Thanks, everyone.